Welcome back to the testing chamber. It's been about a day or two. Your game has been successfully saved. As odd as it may seem, the welcome sight of the book blood soaked bed that rests on the dirty floor in the corner is almost comforting. Though it's probably best not to rest in a place like this. You had given up the last time you felt like your whole world came crashing down. Think of all the amazing moments you would have missed. Wisdom has been granted. back here. Uh, it's blood stained. Oh. Okay. Before you sit before you sits an old rotted wooden chest. It appears to be locked tight. What would you like to do? Open the chest, walk away. Open the chest with You do not have the means to open this chest. Perhaps you should try prying praying for some guidance. Your decision has been noted. Okay. There's a cell door. Before you stands an old iron gate. You try to open it, but the gate won't budge. You do not currently have the means to get through this gate. Your action has been noted. Hmm. Kitty! You notice a small cat-like creature wandering about aimlessly. What would you like to do? Pet the kitty. You reach down to inspect the tags that are securely fastened to the collar of the animal. It reads the name Libby Lib. Okay, Libby Lib. You give Libby Lib a gentle pat on the head. A blood-stained altar stands before you. Upon the altar rests a tattered diary. What would you like to do? Read from the diary or walk away? Your decision has been noted. You mark, your mark has been left. First entry. We all grow frantic. We begin to panic. Impending doom looming over us all. Antagonistic antics. We grow manic. We spiral as we plummet towards the ground. We pray for the winged ones to come and save us from our fall. We pray to the watchful ones to guide us before we lose it all. We pray for sickness, health, greed, and wealth, mercy, or reprieve. All our prayers we shout in vain to a God in whom we don't believe. But we must ask this of you before you decide to go. There's just one thing we wonder, desperately wishing to know. Just what would you do if you only knew that the God you don't believe in doesn't even believe in you? Signed, the Madman. A 
small rusty key rests on the page of the diary. You've acquired rusted key. I wonder if that goes to the chest or the door. Try the chest first. Before you said it's an old rotted wooden chest, it appears to be locked tight. What would you like to do? Open the chest. You use a key to open the chest. The lock clicks open with a single turn and the key turns to dust in your hand. Inside the chest rests a darkened vial of bubbling black liquid. It disappears from the chest within the blink of an eye and somehow manages to find itself securely in the palm of your hand. You've acquired corrosive. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been lost. Maybe I can use the corrosive on the gate. Before you stand at an old iron gate, you try to open it, but the gate won't budge. You throw the bottle of corrosive at the iron gate. It disintegrates before your eyes. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Ooh, there's a blood-stained doll. A blood-soaked doll sits in the darkened corner of the room. Her eyes are fixated on you and seem to follow you wherever you move. It almost looks as though its head moves slightly, but it could just be your mind playing tricks on you. Upon closer inspection, you notice that the doll is wearing a ring around one of her bloody fingers. What would you like to do? Take the ring or walk away. I'm gonna walk away. I ain't taking no ring from a bloody doll. Unless I need it. An old journal made from thick animal skin parchment sits atop the wooden table. It has a list of questions with blank spaces for answers to be written. What would you like to do? Fill in the blank answers. You begin to read questions from the journal. You, you ink your answers in a vial of crimson sitting next to the book. Do you have a favorite number? Yes. Do you have a favorite color? Yes. Do you have any superstitions you genuinely believe? Uh, yes. Life is short. Do you agree with this statement? Yes. Have you ever cut anyone out of your life completely? Yes. Have you ever felt like you've deserved a second chance? Yes. Do you believe that you can accomplish anything you put your mind to? Yes. Would you say that you put a high personal value on family? Yes. Have you ever felt unloved? Yes. Have you ever felt unwanted? Yes. Do you ever wonder if anyone is thinking about you? think about others often. Yes, I do. Would you say that you're a considerate person? Yes. Do you ever feel like others don't always consider your feelings? Yes. Do you ever feel undervalued? Yes. You finish inking your final answer into the journal. The crimson ink begins to swirl and form symbols on the pages where you've provided your answer. The final page of the journal appears to be considerably torn. It also seems to be made of different parts of material than the rest of the journal. Perhaps this will be of use. You have acquired torn journal page. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. An old noose sits on the table. Thick layers of dry blood coat the old dusty rope. Flakes of crimson begin to crumble off the noose and onto your hands, absorbing sweat and melding to your fingers like thick, sticky paint. What would you like to do? 
hang myself upon the highest pillar, take the noose with me, walk away. Uh, take the noose with me. You take the old dusty noose with you, flakes of crimson coat your fingers and stain them red. You acquired old noose. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Okay. An old dusty clock sits on the wall. Dry blood seems to have found a home upon its case. The hands of the clock are stopped and frozen on 2.22. The doll is gone. Remember the, the number 222, it made me important. The stillness, the silence, the abyssal darkness in the depths below. You wonder how deep it goes. You hear what sounds like breathing down below as if there's something lurking in the darkness. You can't help but wonder just what might be gazing back at you from below. What would you like to do? Leap into the maw, feed the maw, walk away. Feed the maw? You toss the noose into the maw. It quakes feverishly with hunger. The abyssal appetite of the gaping maw is unsatiated. The abyss wants more. It always wants more. An endless, unfeelable void that consumes you is every way in every way imaginable. Ew. Living is the hardest thing we'll ever choose to do, Wanderer. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. Find yourself in an unknown chamber. A sense of calm washes over you, though you're unsure of whether or not to trust in that brief and fleeting comfort. Your game has been successfully saved. An old journal made from thick animal skin parchment sits upon the wooden table. It has a list of questions with blank spaces. Yes, fill in the blank. You begin to read questions from the journal. You consider yourself to have an addictive personality yes would you consider yourself to be impulsive at times yes would you consider yourself to be abnormal yes to your knowledge have you ever been tricked and deceived by someone you care for yes would you say that you sometimes have a difficult time letting things go yes you forgive easily. Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a liar? No. When someone lies to you, does it feel like an insult to your intelligence? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a realist? I don't know what that means. nightmares often yes night terrors would you say that you enjoy sleep yes do you ever wish that you didn't have to sleep no because sleep is important would you consider yourself to be an anxious person yes would you consider yourself to have a depressive personality uh yeah. Would you consider yourself to be traumatized from past events that have occurred in your life? Yes. You finish inking your final answer into the journal. Squirrels. Yada yada.
sealed envelope sits atop the wooden table. What would you like to do? Open the envelope. You open the envelope and reel what's inside. It's a handwritten letter and addressed to seemingly no one. It reads, To whomever this may concern, I came here looking for answers. What I found, however, was for far more than I had bargained for. I urge you to turn back now and leave this place, for it has already claimed too many desperate souls, seeking answers to questions that ought not be asked. If I can do one good deed with the last moments of my life, then let it be leave this morning for the next poor unfortunate soul who may find themselves wandering these halls. Turn back now. Sometimes questions are better left unanswered. Signed, a friend. Note back in the envelope and leave it on the table. You begin to pull. Okay. Uh, you have acquired butterfly wings. Life goes on, one way or another, like it or not. You can choose to dwell on the past, or you can focus on the future you still have left. Life will go on, with or without you. A life for a blessing. sits on the table in the corner of the room. It looks as though it's been freshly watered. As you look closer, you notice that there's a four-leaf clover among the leaves of the plant. Take the clover. You carefully pluck the clover out of the planter. You have obtained, you have acquired lucky clover. A crystal ball sits atop the bloodstained table. It gives off an eerie dark energy. What do you like to do? Rub the crystal ball. Peer into the crystal ball. Peer into the crystal ball. You gaze deeply into the crystal ball. It begins to radiate a dull light. Something deep within the crystal ball begins to rise to the surface. A wisdom token begins to push its way through the crystal and the glass reseal, reseals behind it. You have acquired wisdom token. Your decision has been noted. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard in the distance. Before you stand an old wooden door with an iron handle. Once you venture through the through a door or wanderer, you will be unable to return. Make sure you're ready to depart before you continue onward. And tread carefully. Would you like to open the door? Yes. You give the wooden door a heavy push. A lapse in time. A familiar room surrounds you. And it brings on an unfamiliar feel. Your game has been successfully saved. Various notes are scattered across the table, though upon closer inspection, they appear to be written in a strange language you've never seen before. A bizarre alphabet of sorts, mixed with strange symbols drawn in blood, cover the cold stone wall. An old wooden chest rests before you, locked and chained shut. A handprint appears to be carved into each side of the chest, along with a set of words. The two words are as follows. Dream and Nightmare. What would you like to do? Rest your hand on Dream. Rest your hand on Nightmare. The 
chain on the chest breaks with a loud metal clank. The contents of the chest are yours for the taking. You've acquired Angel's Feather. You've made your decision, Wanderer. Keep this with you as you continue your journey, for it will be of importance to you as you gaze upon your reflection. Sometimes silence gives more answers than anything we could ever ask for from words. Can you feel their pain, Wanderer? Can you hear the agony through their silence? An old journal made from thick animal skin. Yeah, yeah. Fill in the blanks. Have you ever felt like your friends and family have been keeping things from you? maybe. Have you ever felt lost in life? Yes. Are you confident in your ability to lead people in a successful direction if a situation required it? Yes. Would you sometimes consider yourself to be a follower? Yes. Have you ever dreamt of being a hero? No. Have you ever considered being a villain? Yes. Have you ever hurt someone's feelings unintentionally? Yes. Have you ever hurt someone's feelings on purpose? <coughs> Presently? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be an artist of some sort? Yes. Do you feel respected in your day-to-day -day life? Consider yourself to be scared, Scott, scarred, yeah. Would you consider yourself to be flawed? Yes. Do you believe in perfection? No. If you knew when your significant other was going to die, would you tell them? Yes. Have you ever trusted someone with your darkest secret? Yes, I have. They broke me. You finish inking your final answer into the journal. You have acquired torn journal page. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. One grave marker tethered with rope sits before you. What do you want to do? Read the grave marker. Here rests Lust. Lust would choose to keep the body and get rid of the soul. Love would choose to keep the soul and happily accept whatever body comes with it. There exist few diseases quite so destructive as lust. Rest in peace, Lucy. She loves me not. The stone statue of a veiled woman stands tall before you. Her face is splattered with blood. What would you like to do? Lay a token at the feet of the statue. You lay the token at the statue's feet. You hear a voice echo in your mind. It is best to judge one by the questions they ask rather than the answers they give. You have paid tribute and received the blessing of wisdom. Your decision has been noted, your mark has been left. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard in the distance. I'm gonna go 
go to the right door this time. Before you stands an old wooden door with an iron handle. Would you like to open the door? You give the wooden door a heavy push. Old friends die hard. A faint growl can be heard briefly in the distance. It fades just as quickly as it came and you wonder if you even heard it at all. Your game has been successfully saved. Old journal made, okay. Fill in the blanks. Would you consider yourself to have a great deal of empathy? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a romantic soul? Yes. Do you ever make reckless decisions that you later end up regretting? Yes, I have. Would you consider yourself to be nosy? Yes. Ever sing when no one is listening? Yes. Do you ever feel like you can't be yourself in front of others? No. Do you trust everyone in your social circle entirely? No. Would you say that you've had a happy childhood? No. Could you be happy in life even if no one knew you were who you were? Be happy being a performer for a living. <coughs> no. Do you typically avoid big parties or social gatherings? No. Do certain words make you uncomfortable? Yes. Do you enjoy solving riddles? No. Do you ever look for the deeper meaning in things? Sometimes. Do you ever suffer from auditory hallucinations? Yes. You finish inking your final answer. Tattered scrolls sit in a heap, piled high in the corner of the room. What would you like to do? Read from the scrolls. You select a scroll from the pile and begin to read from it aloud. You're interrupted by the sound of a monstrous guttural bellow coming from the very walls that surround you. Perhaps these scrolls aren't meant to be read from. love and appreciate those who saw you when you were all but invisible to everyone else who gazed upon your being. <coughs> Do you enjoy soft sound of their supple wings snapping as you pluck them from its body? No. You told me to do this! A twinkling light radiates. Okay. loves me. Three bloody bears sitting in a row. Who do they belong to? Where are they to go? Red's missing an eye, which makes it hard to see. Blue's missing a mouth, which makes it hard to breathe. Black's missing a heart, which makes it hard to care. As their bloody arrows reveal the bloody bears. <clears throat> what would you like to do? Touch the black bear. You reach out and touch the bloody black bear. You feel something hard protruding from its abdomen. You reach your hand into the bear's stomach. A wisdom token falls into the palm of your hand.
decision has been noted. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard in the distance. Before you stand in an old wooden door. Yes. And be nice. Sounds of flesh being ripped from the bone, pulled apart, and devoured somewhere in the room. It seems to be coming from a darkened corner of the chamber, just out of the firelight. A deep guttural bellow can be heard amidst the tearing of meat and snapping of bone. You stand perfectly still as to not draw attention to yourself as you listen attentively. <coughs> Chewing abruptly ceases and something seems to be shining in the distance. It catches your eye briefly before fading. others how they are treated. Some treat others how they wish had been treated. The feel of their wings wiggling in your fingers. It's intoxicating, isn't it? <coughs> no. Let's fill in the journal. Do you believe that you do enough to help others in need? Yes. Do you believe that you can rely on those around you to take care of you if you need be? Yes. Do you ever see things that aren't really there? No. Have you ever been woken up from a deep sleep from the sensation of falling? Yes. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Do you agree with this statement? No. Have you lied to someone within the last week? sometimes make promises that you just can't keep. No. Would you consider yourself to have a guilty conscience? Yeah. Do you often worry about others? Yes. Do others often worry about you? Yes. Have you ever trusted someone entirely without question? Have you ever trusted someone entirely without question? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be emotional? Yes. Do you ever feel the presence of someone in the room with you, even when you're alone? Yes. Do you believe that everything in life will work out exactly the way it's supposed to? Yes. Do you ever hear random knocking noises around you? No. Now I did. <coughs> you did that on purpose. Something is reflecting firelight and giving off a slight glimmer from in between the broken tiles on the floor. What would you like to do? Inspect the glimmer. You reach out and grab the glimmering object. It's caked in dirt and filth, except for a slight 
metallic edge. You rub the object between your fingers to clean off the muck. A wisdom token shines brightly in the palm of your hand. altar rests on the dirty floor. Coins sit among candles, all surrounding a picture of a mirror. Among the coins, you notice that there is one in particular that's only half of a coin. What would you like to do? Take the coin. You pull the half coin out from the pile surrounding the picture. come across the skeletal remains of what appears to be a recent snack for some ferocious creature. Torn pieces of flesh cling to the bones, but there's not much left of the corpse to inspect. The bloody remains emit a great deal of warmth, which suggests that the, uh, this unfortunate victim was eaten while they were still alive, most likely within mere minutes of your arrival in this chamber. A stone statue of a veiled woman stands tall before you, her eyes fixate on you. Lay a token at the feet of the statue. You lay the token at the statue's feet, you hear a voice echo in your mind. Character and reputation are two different things. Pay attention to your character, for that is what you are. Your reputation, however, is what others think you are. You'd be wise to pay attention to the difference. You have paid tribute and received a blessing of wisdom. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. <coughs> Sorry for coughing so much. My throat is really dry. stench emanating from somewhere in this room permeates your nostrils and makes you wretch violently. <coughs> Would you consider yourself to be reserved? Yes. When you consider yourself to be unstable at times. If you make me mad enough. But that's rare on rare occasions. Yeah, that's really rare. Do you ever feel like you're constantly having to defend yourself to others? No. Have you ever stood up for someone who you probably shouldn't have? Has anyone ever stood up for you during a time where you were in the wrong? No. Would you give your life to save someone else's even if that person might not deserve it? Yeah. Do you value other people's happiness over your own? Yeah. Would you consider yourself to be selfish at times? No. Would you consider yourself to be selfless at times? Yes. Do you ever feel like others judge you without getting to know you? Yes. Do you typically make friends with people who are very similar to you? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? 
Yes. Would you consider yourself to be shallow at times? No. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? No. Do you ever feel manic at times? Yes. You finish inking your final answer. Rotting plate of God knows what's on the filthy blood splattered floor. Maggots crawl in and out of the rotting refuse and the flies swarm in the heat. What would you like to do? Walk away. Just walk away. Just walk away. This is probably for the best. Marker tethered with ropes sits before you. Read the grave. Rest in peace, Envy. I wish Matt Pat would do a theory on this game. Jealousy and envy are our internal consciousness and confession of our own inferiority and an admittance of another's superiority for what it is we feel we ourselves are lacking within us. Decrepit wooden bucket sits on the dirty floor. There's a note sitting at the bottom of the bucket. Upon further examination, you notice a crude dagger alongside the note. The note itself reads, no sacrifice, no entry. What would you like to do? Cut myself with the dagger. Place the dagger and note back into the bucket. Walk away. Myself with the dagger. You press the crudely shaped dagger against the palm of your hand and close your fingers around the blade until you feel the sharp pain of your flesh being severed. Warm blood begins to flow freely from the palm of your hand and fill the bucket. As the bucket fills with blood, something flows to the top. A wisdom token presents itself as the bucket fills to the brim. You have acquired wisdom token. I don't think that was, uh, necessary. Your decision has been noted. The sound of a door unlocking can be heard in the distance. Two words are as follows. Follows. Food and water. What would you like to do? the bucket up with water.
sound of small critters scurrying around in the darkest corners of the room. Your game has soon been successfully saved. given a good life nor a bad one. We are, how, we are, however, most certainly given a life. Imagine if that were you on the other end, as your arms are ripped from your body. Ah! Ow. I feel like my arm's about to fall off. Does that count? object. I would never do that to a butterfly. She loves me not. Why is that guy following me? There appears to be a small opening in the bottom corner of the stone wall. What would you like to do? Look into the hole! As you attempt to look into the hole, you hear squeaking of a small critter hiding in the darkness. It doesn't appear to want to come out, and your hand is much too large to fit into the hole. What the? A loud crashing noise can be heard, along with what sounds like the cries of an unknown creature somewhere in the room. Blood has formed on the floor where you stand. The mirror on the wall seems to have been shattered by some unknown entity. An old journal made. Alright, let's fill in the questions. Have you ever feared? What may lurk in the dark as you're trying to sleep at night. Yes, that's why I always have a light on. Do you find that you get bored easily when you're on your own? Yes. Do you often find ways to keep yourself entertained? Yes. Would you say that you're someone who enjoys their own company? No. Do you typically get along well with others? It depends. Would you consider yourself to be stubborn? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be argumentative? It depends on the topic. But no. Are you usually right when it comes to disagreements? Again, it depends on the topic. Would you consider yourself to be egotistical at times? No. Have you ever had an inflated opinion of yourself? No. Have you ever had a low opinion of yourself? Yes. Do you typically have a low opinion of others? No. Does meeting new people make you anxious? Yes. Have you ever fantasized about living in a world all by yourself? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be the center of your own universe? Finish inking your final answer. A stone statue of a veiled woman stands with tall before you. She holds a shard of glass in her hands. Lay a token at the feet of the statue. You lay the token at the statue's feet. You hear a voice echo in your mind. Understanding requires much more depth than knowledge. Perhaps many know you, but how many understand you? Good point. You have paid tribute and received the blessing of wisdom. Your decision has been noted. Your mark has been left. The 
sound of a door unlocking. I'm gonna go this way. Before you stands an old wooden door. Let's open that bitch. A faint sound of music can be heard coming from somewhere in the room. Yeah, it's the music room. Your game has been successfully saved. I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna go play another game over on Twitch. Bye.